13 Motorsports. <clears throat> I'm sitting in what is soon to become one of the most legendary Tom Attack cars in Ontario and the world. Got the roof panel off of the car. Good one. Paul is fixing it up. And it's great. And basically, what you gotta do is pop, just drill all the welds out. And we don't care about drilling right through because we're not keeping it on. And then, I put that on here now, right after. Where's that wire? Wire work? Right. Alright, we touched up all these areas with some weld through Glass. primer and it's going to be looking pretty fresh after. I've been very busy out at the shop quite a bit getting this thing ready uh, so far. Um, we've got most of the interior stuff stripped out so we could do some fab. Don't mind that bar in the middle there. Um, and I've got a lot of the bars tacked up in the roll, uh, roll cage. So we are going to be doing an eight point setup, which means eight points of contact with the chassis. So you've got one, two, three, and then there's going to be an additional anti intrusion bar, uh, wheel intrusion bar in the front there, which will be four times both sides, which will be eight. So I guess just to go over um, some of the design stuff that I've done um, this time around. So you notice the round uh, rocker boxes, both sides. These are to stop, you know, sharp edges from hitting your foot as you're moving your feet around, especially hitting the clutch and stuff back there. Um, we're gonna, so the factory RX-8 comes with a brace that attaches this panel to that one there, assume stiffening it up in that area. Uh, we'll be um, tying in that panel with this bar um, via gusset, as well as building this wheel intrusion bar system with a triangular shape here. Uh, there will be a dash bar, of course. Um, we've already got the upper windshield brace here mounted um, in the back here notched out that section there just to drop this bar down a little bit just to get some more stiffness across this plane here uh, in the back um, typical time attack style right just trying to keep it light just one point over the driver to protect the driver's head um, Rear plates going right back, super close to the strut mounts. Um, horizontal bracing there in the back. Seat. Everything else. The next thing to do is, you know, I'm a little bit, <clears throat> I'm a little bit on the tall side for a driver, so we're um, taking out these factory seat mounts here, which are 
not only super heavy, but they are a little bit on the tall side. So we're going to knock these out, knock that out, knock this central um, support here. We're going to build our own mount using some DOM tubing, drop it down as low as possible to improve the center of gravity as well as giving the driver some clearance from the uh, very hard <laughs> roll bar tubing that might smack your head in an accident. So um, again, we've got the, the roof panel off, which was pretty fun to do. You'll see that in one of our Instagram live videos. I'll try to cut in some, some of that video here. Removing the roof panel, tons and tons of spot welds. Um, you know, we removed a little bit of the deck lid here just so we could get some more room and access to do some welding back here. Uh, this is also not gonna be necessary with all the tubing that we have in here. Um, all the body work's done on this side as I've gone over previously. And just, you know, furthermore, we'll just keep chipping and chipping away. Um, we're gonna close the doors on the side here so you guys can see uh, the roll bar's a little bit further back because this is technically a four-door car. Um, it's very close touching the roof panel to give us the most height and as well as I try to get the uh, the hoop as close to the door as possible but I still had to leave a little bit of room for me to do some welding so it's not completely touching the door um, to do the door bars we might end up notching out the door as it's gonna be quite close to the driver so what I'm probably gonna do next is work on fitting up the seat and then positioning the door bars, leaving enough room for the driver to get out. So we might just go with a straight bar from here to here, and then the upper bar, angle it out into the door panel, and then come back in. Tricky thing is, that's the door latch there. Um, and the rear door, well the front door, latches into the rear door. So got to be really careful with what we do there because we don't want that door to become flimsy when it's latching so uh, that's one thing we got to watch out for so we'll see how we're gonna figure out some creative solution to keep everything rigid solid and working like OEM and not create a whole bunch of headaches for ourselves thanks for tuning so stay in tuned, guys as we continue working on our Mazda RX-8 time attack car thanks for watching and again, if you find anything useful in this video, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. It all helps us build this.